Hey guys, this is Cody Joe back again, and today we are going to show you how to set up a Pac-Man frog terrarium. So the main base products that we're going to start with is we're using a five and a half gallon terrarium. We're going to use coconut fiber substrate. We have some Zoomed frog moss, and then we've included a heat pad, obviously with the thermostat that's going to control the temperature. So our first step is we're going to take our terrarium and we're gonna add the smallest heat pad to it. These pads typically don't get too hot. However, anytime you're using a heating device, you always wanna connect it to a thermostat just to be safe. So first, we'll add this in one corner of the terrarium and then that will give a gradient from warm to cool depending on which end and how deep he burrows down. Once we have our heat pad attached, the next step is gonna be adding our substrate. And like I said, for this one, we're using a coconut fiber substrate. All you gotta do is dump in a nice layer So usually with your substrate, the deeper the layer you do, the more consistent your humidity is gonna stay. And this was the same substrate that was in those bricks that we showed previously in the video. And all you have to do to expand it into a loose soil is just soak it in some water and give it about five minutes and then it's pretty easy to break apart. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an area to each end of the tank that the frog can burrow into and use as a bit of a hiding area. So I'll have one above my heated area and then I have another one on the cool end of the tank. For this, I'm just using two pieces of cork flats. This is really nice because this particular product doesn't mold usually if it's wet. It doesn't rot or break apart like a lot of the branches will do. So this is one of my favorites to use for amphibians. The next thing I'm gonna do since this is such a small terrarium is I'm just gonna fit my water dish in here. And all I'm using for this is kind of a long shallow dish because with Pac-Mans in particular, you really don't want a water dish that has sharp edges with like really deep sides because they have a hard time getting out. Now we're gonna add our frog moss. So this is a dried moss in the box. I've got a little container of water here. So just take a piece out and you just kind of want to put it in the water, squeeze it a little bit, let it absorb the water like a sponge. And you'll see that the moss is actually growing on top and then it's got the kind of root system on the bottom. So I'm just gonna put this here and I'm gonna nestle it into the substrate around the edges so that the edges don't dry out. And I'll just keep adding away here where I think I need some. So as with all reptiles and amphibians, we know that temperature and humidity is very important. We've attached our heat pad to the terrarium, and like I said, we do want to control that heat pad with a thermostat just to ensure that it's not going to get too warm. So what you're going to want to do is plug your heat pad into your thermostat, and then your thermostat will have a temperature probe, and you'll want to actually bury that temperature probe in the terrarium right above the heat pad so that you're controlling the hottest point in the terrarium. Usually for the Pac-Man frogs, I'll set it to about 86, maybe 85 degrees, and that's good enough. They'll bury down as far as they need to go to get closer to the heat, or they can move upward and off towards the cool end to get away from the heat. So I personally also like to add a digital thermometer that has a temperature probe as well, and I'll bury that right beside the probe that goes to the thermostat. And that just ensures that I know for a fact that the thermostat is accurate and working properly. The other thing that I'll do is I'll just use a stick-on hygrometer that's gonna tell me the humidity in the terrarium. And I will usually stick that lower in the terrarium, closer to the substrate where the actual frog is gonna be sitting, and somewhere around the middle of the tank. Now all we have left to do is add some water to our water bowl and put our little buddy in here. This thing's a little savage, man. All right, so now we're gonna add our little Pac-Man frog. This is a South American species of frog that even though they're fairly inactive, they do get pretty large. So obviously this terrarium is going to need to be upgraded. Even like approximately a 20 gallon terrarium is plenty of room for an adult Pac-Man. But keep in mind that they do get very large. You can see he's starting to check things out and he's actually taking a little bath in the water bowl. This frog is gonna have no issues getting out of this water dish once he's gone in there because it's very shallow at the edges. For a light, we just have a 2.0 compact fluorescent. This is very, very minimal amounts of UV and it's just gonna light the terrarium, help with the moss a little bit. And a little bit of UV is good for everything sometimes. And with every amphibian, you wanna use a very low rating UVB bulb. One of the coolest things about Pac-Man frogs is they come in a variety of colors and patterns. As you can see, we've got albinos, we've got the strawberry albinos, uh, when we also have ornate Pac-Mans and the typical green Pac-Mans. All right, so hopefully this helped you guys out with your Pac-Man setups. And as always, if you have any further questions, feel free to stop into the store, talk to one of us, or you can throw us a message on Facebook as well.